she was feeling awful. Um, she was feeling very drained, uh, very tired, very lethargic, very feverish. Um, and she just said, my body doesn't feel like it's running right. I feel like I'm dying. Dialed 999 and they told her it'd be four to five hours for an ambulance to come to her, even though her, her, her position or her illness was life critical, could have been life critical. Darren Street's daughter has type 1 diabetes. She's collapsed before and was afraid it could happen again. She was scared. She was crying. She said, I feel like I'm dying. And at that point, she's a 25-year-old young lady. Um, but what could we do is literally get her in the car and, you know, sort of throw her to the A&E and say, please deal with our daughter. She was admitted into resource within five minutes and given immediate care. That was on Tuesday, the day before ambulance workers went out on strike. Many trusts had already warned of severe pressure, even ahead of the industrial action. In Kent, Medway NHS Trust became the latest to declare a critical incident due to a spike in demand following the strikes. Amid warnings, the health service is facing a very difficult Christmas. We're in for um, a challenging time over the next couple of days because what we do know is after this kind of strike action or after something like a, a bank holiday in the NHS, we know that there is a lot of pent up demand. Nursing leaders have warned there's no slack in the system. The number of patients in hospital with flu has skyrocketed with a surge in patients needing critical care. And Strep A is driving record demand for services. Five more children have died in the last week. Outside hospitals, ambulance delays have reached a new high. Almost a quarter of ambulance patients in England waited more than an hour to be handed to A&E teams last week. That compares to just one in 20 in the same week two years ago. The issue remains a shortage of beds. Around 95% of hospital beds are full. With the whole system under strain, NHS bosses are urging the government and unions to try to avert further strike action after Christmas. This winter is going to be incredibly tough. There's nothing we can do about that. But the industrial action adds to what is already a challenging situation. What do we want? Say stop it! When do we want it? Now! But what scenes like these look set to be repeated, with the government sticking to its position that it won't negotiate over pay and unions responding by announcing more strike dates next month. Becky Johnson, Sky News.